What is the magnitude of the acceleration of the speck of clay on the edge of the potter's wheel turning at 45 rpm revolutions per minute if the wheel's diameter is 35 centimeters? All problems where you need to find centripetal accelerations, acceleration due to the rotation, are formal, so you always have to start from the definition of the centripetal acceleration. You have the following definition A, centripetal, equal V square over R. R is the radius of the rotation, and V is the linear velocity with which you rotate. We are talking about the point which is at the edge of the potter wheel. So your R, in our case, would be half of the diameter. So it would be 35 centimeters divided by 2. So it would be 17.5 centimeters or 0 0.175 meters. You always have to convert everything in international units. Now, how to find velocity? Velocity is, by definition, the rate with which you cover the distance during one rotation, which happens to occur for the period of rotations of time is t, you will cover the distance equals one circumference to pi r. So you have r, and the only what you need to have is period. Now you are given quantity, which tells you how many revolution happens to occur per minute. You can find period of rotation from this quantity if you will take one minute and divide by number of revolution per minute. And, of course, you have to convert everything in seconds, because period has to be done not in minutes, but in seconds. But what you have formally to do, you have one minute divided by 60... Um, sorry, one minute divided by 45 RPM. You will have how many rotations will have per minute, and you have to multiply by 60 seconds per one minute. It's rotations. So you will have, cancel in one minute, 60 divided by 45 gives you four thirds. Correct? Or 1.33 seconds. One more time, if you have 45 rotations per minute, you will calculate what is the length of one rotation if you will divide one minute by 45. But you will have length in minutes. To convert in seconds, you have to multiply by 60 seconds. And you will have 1.33 seconds. Then your centripetal acceleration will be 2 pi, pi is 3.14, times 0.175 meters, divided by 1.33 seconds, this is our velocity square, and divided by r, 0.175 meters. If you will do all calculations, you will come up with 3.9 meters per second square. We solved the problem completely.